Bay. I'm a collector of vintage fire engines and uh, vintage appliances. Starting off here as part of my collection, I'll start from the oldest, work through to the newest. This is a 1913 hand-drawn hose cart. Then we come along to here. There's a 1924 Garford fire engine, which served with New South Wales Fire Brigade up to 1969. Moving up to here, we have a 1929 Dennis 250 fire engine. This is one that I bought it's in currently uh, in unrestored condition. Then uh, we come up to the next one, which is a uh, 1936 uh, Dennis Ace. This truck I restored from a uh, basket case, actually it was in very bad condition and uh, took me three years to restore this truck. These were known as the flying pigs because of the snout, pig like snout bonnet on them. We uh, moving along up to here, we have uh, a 1942 Mack fire engine, which is uh, a left hand drive vehicle. It served the New South Wales Fire Brigade from 1942 through to 1978. It uh, originally came out as part of the Lend Lease program through World War II. The, uh, and they were rebodied in 1956 with this body work on it now. It stayed in the service to 1978. Still left hand drive. Being left hand drive, the fire brigade uh, never converted them because fire engines were not registered, so they didn't, it wasn't a requirement to have them converted to right hand drive. We are uh, coming along a bit further here. We have a uh, 1960 uh, Ford Thames Trader. This is the last one I've just re finished restoring. It served uh, Aberdeen Fire Station from uh, 1960 through to 1980. Uh, coming along here, we've got uh, a 1969 Dennis uh, D600 is powered by a Jaguar six cylinder motor. This particular appliance uh, served in Armadale from 1969 to the 1990s when it was retired uh, from service. That's uh, just a part of my collection. I actually have 13 uh, fire engines in various stages of repair, but um, I've, today I've got uh, six of them out here on show. Thank you.